I, f I feel a little bit, uh, what's the word? To, well, this is our first clearing line, and I'm just speaking from our experience. And it's only been two months, trust me. It's, it's literally been two to three months. But the journey and um, the passion that we have to make it work. <laughs> Tinania family, welcome to another vlog. All right, this vlog, as you saw in the title, yes, we've only been business for a little while, but it's for diamonds and sapphires. Now, when Brenna and I decided to uh, to start this business venture again, uh, would have been only a few months ago. As you follow us on Instagram and on YouTube, it's really taken off. I'm actually talking from our our studio. Uh, at home and we've made our home little home base studio gotta start somewhere right we've had plenty of orders and you know we got sold out on our first order thank you very much for everybody that has uh, purchased and pre-ordered for the new designs coming up captains captains is what we do but before we get to that Brenda loves clothing so do I we, we absolutely love fashion and you know when we were starting this we we're like okay how can we make this work without cutting the budget already. As you guys already know, we own salons. Onyx Hair Crew is our salons and we've been in business for about 28 years. I won't lie, it's, um, it's, it's been a challenge, but that's the challenge that you sign up to when you become a business owner. Now, adding another business to it, which is diamonds and sapphires, try to decide to see what will work best in the fashion industry. Do we do an Instagram store? Do we do an Amazon store? Um, do we already buy from wholesalers? Or do we cut and sew? Now, we try to work out with a very tiny budget. When I mean budget, I'm talking about tiny budget. The budget, to be honest, was only two grand. We thought, okay, two, we've got two grand. Let's make it work. What can we do? So, first of all, we really thought of Bali. As you guys know, we always go to Bali. Here's our Bali vlogs, all in the description down below. We're there every six weeks, so we show you where to eat, accommodation, and just some tips that work for Brenner and I for the last five years. Now, Diamonds and sapphires. Getting back to the question, Sole. We thought, okay, what's what's gonna work with this two grand? Now, Brenda loves caftans, and every girl loves a good caftan. So we decided, okay, it's gonna be caftans and kimonos. One, it's easy to turn around, as in the sewing, cut and sew. And two, uh, don't need many designs. It's just the material that we have to change. So, we ran with that. Now, our concept, well, Brenda's concept is, she has four designs. Yep, she has four designs. One called the Leilani, one called the Brooklyn, one called the Beauty, and one called, ah, uh, she named it after uh, my niece, Serenity. That's the four. Now, those four will be running, we thought, okay, let's run with them for the next year. Right? That, yeah, are you getting my, my point? Yeah, we've got those four main designs that Brenda come up with, a short caftan, a long caftan, a kimono, and the universal. Universal, you could wear 10 different ways. Now, sorry, I haven't got the design to you. I'm here to tell you about the, the business side of stuff. I do the business side and Brenda does all the designing and the, uh, and the selling. Now, on my side, handling the money and making sure that we had enough stock, we ran with those four. And so we weren't stocking too many stuff. And we, do, and we didn't have the choice to stock size 8 to size 26. So we thought, you know what? Let's build those four caftans and make sure size 8 fits in it. And a size 26. Yes, so we filled in. And it took us a few months to get it right. And we just got it right. I played it smart. And we got a few of each. So the first 40 sold straight away online. Gone. And we're like... Oh no, we need to go to Bali. Got everything done and then we had another 40 that we have to order. And so we introduced it into the cellar. So what we've done, Brenda has done her research and looked for some beautiful material. Not one material is the same. So we've got 10 of each. 
10 different materials for the short caftans, 10 different materials for the long caftans, 10 different materials for the uh, kimonos, and 10 different materials for the universal. So, we went with that because we just thought, you know what? It's gonna work. It's gonna absolutely work out. So, that was our concept. Four designs with all different materials. They are exclusive. You're the only one that's gonna have that pattern. So how we made it work in Bali, as you probably saw, is we sourced materials uh, from different places. They got materials from India, uh, China, um, also some beautiful silks from Turkey, Pakistan, all over the world. And you know what? We still got plenty to learn. That's how we basically started our, our little empire. We've got probably another, I think another 15 to sell. You know, the journey has been quick has been really really quick and how we've made it work on the business side of stuff is you've got to be consistent not only have we got our online uh, store at diamonds and sapphires i put it over here but we also got our instagram facebook and also our youtube now all those things rotate around nobody knows who diamonds and sapphires are no one but your marketing of it is the most important the worst thing is having stock. A hairdressing perspective, or another business perspective, is I know if you have stock, sitting there all the time, you got a discount. And that's not what we want to do. We know that our material and the hard work that my wife and myself have put into, and the passion that we've put into this, is absolutely worth every penny. If you came on because of the title, it's true. You know what? Start small. If, you, if you've got a dream that you want to start, start small and slowly add to it, add to it and add to it. Now, as I said, we started this a few months ago and now we've, this is our third order. So that's our concept, guys. I want to share with you guys the marketing side of it, how to start a business and market it with no money. Simple. You've got YouTube that we use. You know, we've got so many videos on how we created it, uh, our trips to Bali and just taking you on the journey and uploading it onto our YouTube. Then, from there, I market it onto uh, Instagram, photos, you know, don't forget to do a photo shoot. We've done probably about three or four different photo shoots, and every time we have new stock coming in, I will do a photo shoot all the time. But also, the stuff that you got left, I always like to do a photo shoot every single week. So I'll grab a staff member, oi, let's put this on and take a quick snap. You know, everybody knows how to take a selfie. Ah! So why can't you take an Instagram photo? It's simple. Instagram photos and then also share those onto your Facebook page. Now, Facebook and Instagram, two totally different things. Yeah? You agree? What I know of is Instagrams are photos. So you're constantly doing this. Yeah? On Instagram. And just looking at photos and you're looking for impressions. Um, as in photos that you like. Now, Facebook. Facebook is more the detail. So where I go onto the pricing of it what it's made out of, what's the name of it, where to go for the website, and you get more interaction that way. So there's more information on Facebook. People spend more time on uh, Facebook to get the info on it. Instagram, uh, Facebook, Twitter, if you've got Twitter, and have that generated constantly. Costs you nothing. A bit of hard work and a bit of motivation keeps you going and going and going. So where do you find the motivation? Mate, the motivation is that we want to succeed, yeah? We want to succeed for our children. For us, our why is our kids. And we want them to have the best education. We want them to have the best of life. So money helps. And that's why we have started this. And, and we come from humble homes. Our parents did the best that they can. And here's our journey on showing our kids on um, how to, you know, to, to do what they want to do, to be free in this world and to, and to make their dreams come true. Motivation for me is um, we went through a really rough patch in uh, in Sydney, and you know what? I'm just going to be real. Went through a really rough patch with one of our salons, and um, lost everything. Lost our house, uh, lost the salon, um, lost absolutely everything. My pride, you know, but and. It was just one of those times where, you know, I, I dropped the game and um, you know, bills just bills just piled up on on, on each other and 
I just thought, you know what? I didn't care anymore <laughs> because there was no motivation. And I lost it a bit there. It was a really, really dark time in my life. I know it's only things, but as a male, you know, you, you want to show your kids and your wife that uh, you can provide and, um, and, and, and how to succeed. But unfortunately, that just, that's just the way things went. Um, uh, we lived with mum and dad in their little flat. And we were in there for, you know, quite a bit. And, and people knew about our business and we just went down. Went down and down. And, but, you know what? That's what's picked us up. That's what's picked me up as a man and as a father and as a business owner. You need those down times to keep you motivated and to keep you going. You know, I, I would never wish upon anybody what happened to us. And you know what, we, we're in business again. Our fails have made our business now and our lives where we are today. And really humbled me to keep going. You know, it, it's only one part of life that, um, that it's a lesson to be learned. So what motivates me is that, is the downtimes. Keep going, you have questions, you know, you have all these questions, but you're like, you know what, I've been at my worst, and I'm gonna keep doing this, and I'm gonna keep motivating. And God has been with us. You know, God plays a big part in our lives. He's only given us one life to enjoy. What's the ups and downs of business? Time. Nine to five job is basically that, nine to five. That's all you get. Um, and go home and do what you need to do. Business is constant. It's from nine to nine the next day, to nine the next day, to nine the next day. That's how it is. I, I think that's one of the biggest things is time and, and making sure you balance your family time, your personal time, and your business time. Those are the three things that I, as a business owner, would recommend from the very beginning. You know, spending those three different times. Your own time to get by yourself, your time with your partner and your kids, and if you have children, and then also uh, your business time. So always make sure you have time for those three things. One of the biggest things when you're trying to start a business with no money, be unique, be different. You know, everybody's being different. So for instance, if you see a purple cow, your eyes are gonna be drawn to that purple cow because it's different, right? So for us captains, uh, Brenda has come with concepts uh, for, for the R&B world to wear, for rappers to wear, um, for the elegance, obviously, uh, going to the beach, um, doing your shopping, um, and just different styles. So that's being unique. And if you see the materials that Brenda has come up with, it's different. It's very, very different. I'll link the videos down the bottom so you can have a look at the lookbooks as well, all right? Having a marketing plan. Marketing is really, really important. You can have the best product, but if you can't show the world and the world can't see it, what's the point? Yeah? So don't forget, your marketing plan for Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Um, what else is there? Snapchat, it's massive as well. We've just started on Snapchat. And use those platforms to the best of your ability. It's free. One of the most important tips that I can give is know your money before you start. I had to make sure that we could pay our tailors, we could pay the warehouse, we had money for the shipping, we had money for the bags um, that come in it and then the labeling for the bags, and then also the little cards that we have inside our shipping bags. Then we also had our tags on the t-shirts, and then the hanging tags that has diamonds and sapphires on it, and then your website that you have to pay for every month. Know where every single dollar, and then divide it. Then you know how much that one garment, one garment costs you, and then how much you have to make on top of that to make profit for your next ones. Yeah, make sense? So always make sure you know your money. Be patient. Yep, be patient. So what I mean by be patient, for us as um, a new company, try and not be them. Try and not say, well, I did the same as them and we started at the same time, but how come they're selling more? Do it your way because your journey is more important than their journey. Exactly like YouTube. If you're trying to start YouTube and be like another page, like Casey Neistat, which I, I admire, if you're, if you're trying to vlog like Casey, it's not gonna happen because that's not your style of vlogging. Exactly with any other business like us, 
Don't look at Louis Vuitton and try and be Louis Vuitton. Louis Vuitton started with their own way. Yeah? Be unique. Be yourself. And be patient. One last tip that I could give you guys. And, and you know what? Don't forget to subscribe down the bottom. Because there's going to be plenty of videos that you would like to see on uh, starting your own online business. Now, one last thing that I think is very important is be on trend. Be on trend on, on the clothes that are out there. Know your market and see what they want and, and see what they're wearing. Their age, female or male, and, and really target to them. So you need to know the trends on marketing, the trends on clothing. There's a trend on everything. That's a little bit of an insight on how we started Diamonds and Sapphires with basically no money. Always start little and then grow your empire. If you're a new subscriber and liking the content, please don't forget to subscribe. But here's Diamonds and Sapphires website so you can go have a look at our clothing, uh, caftans and kimonos, all right? So I hope that helps, guys. Don't forget, if you have any questions, please don't forget to comment down below. Uh, we're going to try and do these videos once a week so it inspires you to do whatever you want to do. A lot of hard work and a lot of passion will direct you straight to your dream. Thank you very much from Duva, from the Tinanya family. We'll see you tomorrow with another video. Yep. Three things we'd like you to do. That is two, like, subscribe, and share. Cheers.